Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Nicole Heininger with Interior Design Studio Est Collective. In today's video, I am taking you inside the Plant Daddies by Berber Pop-Up Shop in Culver City, California. Plants are a staple in nearly all of our projects and this pop-up shop offers a great preview of captivating plant selections one of our favorite suppliers provides. As always, we will begin the video by giving you a quick tour of the space and conclude by selecting my top five pieces from the space to make the S list. All right, let's go inside and take a look around. Upon entering the space, you are greeted by strategically positioned minimal white block columns serving as elegant displays for an array of terracotta sculptures and antique vessels. The Plant Daddies collaborate closely with another one of our esteemed vendors, Berber, leveraging their exceptional range of pots, vases, furniture, and troughs to tastefully exhibit their exotic plants. This pop-up shop is a seamless partnership, highlighting the aesthetic appeal of integrating botanical beauty with antique artifacts. I particularly love the pricing approach, featuring miniature Polaroid pictures with handwritten prices for each plant. There's one of my absolute favorite plants, the Argentine Ball. It earned a spot on my list when we featured Berber in a previous video. If you haven't had the opportunity to watch it yet, I'll include a link at the top for easy access and be sure to check it out. The space feels like a very well curated gallery with each piece presented on its own distinctive pedestal. It's a minimal and effective way to elevate each piece by highlighting its singular beauty. As we walk toward the back, we encounter a wide variety of taller trees and various stone planters. This single black olive tree requires attentive care to thrive indoors. I'd like to emphasize that while we excel in design, our expertise in plant care is more limited. Therefore, we heavily rely on knowledgeable professionals like the plant daddies to guide and educate us in our selections and would highly recommend you do the same. There's a nice combination of pottery and plants enhanced by unique and one-of-a-kind discoveries like this antique planter. There's a great assortment of smaller plants interspersed throughout, including this wood shelving unit full of some really nice accent pieces. I also love all of the canvas casually draped throughout the shop. One of my favorite unexpected features of this space is the use of the dressing rooms. Instead of leaving them as mere back of house areas, the design team transformed each dressing room into a captivating feature niche to showcase individual plants. This thoughtful approach not only elevates the space, but also creates a sense of stepping into a hidden room, which I love. There are a number of these Queensland bottle trees throughout the shop, and I'm always amazed at how they can exist in such minimal soil. Here's another bottle tree planted in a vase, offering a completely different and unique appearance. In the final corner, you'll find some inviting seating, the most stunning monsteras planted in terracotta planters, and a beloved stone trough fountain. Passing by the pillars one last time, I appreciate how they provide the opportunity to admire the objects from every angle. And that concludes our tour of the Plant Daddies by Berber Pop-Up Shop. I'd also like to take a moment to acknowledge and extend a shout out to Eric and his team at Maison Trouvaille for their exceptional design of this beautiful space. While it's temporary, it's worth noting that the Plant Daddies now have a more permanent residency at Berber, providing you with the opportunity to experience their offerings there as well. Now that we've explored the entire space, it's time for me to select my top five pieces from the showroom to make the guest list. Coming in at number one is the Brachycaeton rupestris. Commonly known as the Queensland bottle tree, it is a striking houseplant prized for its unique trunk shape and glossy foliage. With its characteristic swollen trunk resembling a bottle, this Australian native adds a touch of exotic elegance to any indoor space. As a low maintenance plant, it thrives in bright indirect light and well-draining soil, making it an ideal choice for both novice and experienced plant enthusiasts seeking a distinctive addition to their space. Coming in at number two is the Cassonia paniculata, also known as the mountain cabbage tree. This is a striking house plant celebrated for its architectural beauty and resilience. With its tall slender trunk and striking foliage reminiscent of palm fronds, this South African native adds a touch of tropical allure to any indoor setting. Its distinctive appearance makes it a focal point in any room, lending a sense of drama and sophistication. Thriving in bright indirect light and well-draining soil is a versatile 
versatile addition to any plant collection. Coming in at number three is this Brachychiton rupestris. Nestled within an antique terracotta vessel, the Brachychiton rupestris reveals its slender trunk and cannabis-like leaves. Its vibrant green leaves provide a refreshing contrast against the smooth bark. The bottle trunk buried within allows only the graceful foliage to emerge, evoking a sense of mystery and botanical allure. This juxtaposition of hidden strength and delicate beauty celebrates nature's resilience and captivates with its understated charm. Coming in at number four is Monstera Deliciosa. Monstera, also known as the iconic Swiss cheese plant, captivates with its large fenestrated leaves and tropical allure. This houseplant brings a touch of jungle sophistication to any space, creating a captivating visual display, thriving in bright indirect light and moderate watering. Its low maintenance nature and striking appearance make it a favorite among plant enthusiasts. Rounding out the list at number five is Dracaena marginata, also known as the dragon tree. It enchants with its slender architectural form and vibrant foliage. This versatile houseplant thrives in various light conditions, making it suitable for any corner of your space. With its low water requirements and air purifying qualities, it's a perfect choice for both novice and experienced plant lovers looking to add a touch of elegance to their indoor spaces. And that wraps up our tour of this incredible space. I hope you found it as fascinating as I do. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more content like this in the future. Your support means the world to me and helps us continue exploring amazing places. From all of us here at Est Collective, thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next tour.